We're joined by Mary Frankel, a senior credit analyst with Moody's. Mary, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me. All right. We've seen significant deleveraging among REITs this year. Do you expect that to continue in 2010? Yes. I uh, think that REITs will continue to access both the debt and the equity markets, which they have been doing uh, the past year, since March and April, since the markets started to open up a bit. And I think you're going to see them possibly start to sell some more properties as the markets open up. Uh, some of the companies have mentioned that to us, but absolutely, I think they will deleverage. Because I think com companies have found out throughout this past uh, crisis, credit crisis over the last year that uh, having um, less leverage is better. Mm -hmm. Because when you do come to a point in time like we have with this past recession, it's good if you need, do need to leverage, at least you have the flexibility to do that. And how much lower do you think that REITs can afford to delever? Well, some of them have announced they're going to deleverage significantly, but clearly that's not something that one can do overnight. I don't know what, I don't know what number particularly. Uh, in some companies like to target 40 to 45 percent. Some have said they're going to go significantly below that. I think it's all going to depend on the company and what they're able to do with their current uh, structure. So you don't have an idea of an ideal leverage ratio in mind for REITs? Well, we do, depending for the, uh, for the uh, investment grade REITs uh, versus other REITs. We have a methodology that we put out in 2006 uh, that we uh, follow. And yes, we do have certain uh, credit parameters uh, for various, uh, for BAA1, BAA2, 3, you know, et cetera. Uh, and it all depends on the company. Uh, but I would say leverage, I would say in the 40, 45% range is, is probably uh, typical of an investment grade company these days. Okay. Clearly, however, I will say there, is, there are some exceptions to the rule. For example, mall companies have always had a bit more leverage just by the nature of the product type. You know, a, a billion, uh, million square foot mall, a billion dollar property, you're not going to be able to, uh, uh, that you're going to go out and probably do some secured financing. And so mall companies have always run a little bit different than some other companies. All right, well, sounds very interesting. Thanks a lot for your time, Mary. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. Okay. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com. <music>